G'day, Craig here from Throne Boss. Thank you for purchasing one of our beanbag chairs. In this short video, we'll show you how easy it is to fill your new beanbag chair and have you enjoying it in less than 10 minutes. We also have some pro tips to make sure it doesn't get too messy so you can get the most out of it. Your beanbag chair comes as a cover only and so you'll need to purchase the beans online or from a local retailer. We recommend using only EPS beans as memory foam doesn't allow the bags to hold their shape. You'll also find on our website or the beanbag warning label the amount of beans you'll need to fill your beanbag chair, depending on the size. To get started, you'll need some scissors and another adult to help you out. You can do it by yourself and if you stick around to the end of the video, we'll show you a pro tip on how you can do that. After you've unpacked the beanbag cover, find the zipper on the bottom and make sure that you read the warning label. It is important that you read and understand this so you can keep children safe around the beanbag. Remove the paper clip that is attached to the label and we're going to use it to open the zipper. The beanbag has two safety zippers to stop small children from opening the beanbag and to keep the beans from spilling out. Fold open the paper clip and insert it into the zipper and open the main zipper and then the zipper for the filling chute. Grab your beanbag filling and your extra pair of hands and here's our first pro tip. To make it easy to clean up any loose beans, do the filling process in a bathtub. If you do spill any, and you will, it makes it easier to vacuum the beans up afterwards. If you don't have a bathtub, use the corner of a room and make sure you turn off any fans or close any windows so that the beans don't get blown around the house. Using the scissors, cut the corner off the beanbag filling about 6 inches or 15 centimetres long. Have one adult hold one side of the filling chute with their hands apart and the other adult using one hand to pull the other side of the filling chute to make a triangle. With your spare hand, pick up the bag of beans and start pouring it in. But be really careful that you don't squeeze it too tight otherwise the beans will go everywhere. Alternatively, you can scrunch up the hole, put the bag of beans over your shoulder and pour it in that way. The beanbag chair has a special piece of fabric inside between the base and the back that helps it to keep its shape, but it also blocks some of the beans filling up the back. Throughout the filling process, shake the bag every so often and halfway through, zip the beanbag up and shake the beans down into the chair back. Then resume filling to your desired comfort level. Once you're happy with the amount of filling, Use the paper clip to close both zippers and then remove the paper clip and put it somewhere safe, away from young children. Please heed the warnings on the beans filling bag and also keep these away from children. Vacuum any spilled beans as they are a choking hazard to young children and pets. If you have to do this solo, our pro tip is to use pegs or fold back clips to attach to one side of the filling chute and attach it to a chair. They're your second pair of hands. Another pro tip is making sure that the bag is filled correctly. Firstly, what you want to do is tip it upside down and get most of the beans into the back section. Then place it on the ground, fluff out the bottom and sit in it. Our pro tip as well is to not put too many beans in the bag. It's more comfortable when it's about um, three quarters full because it's like sitting into a big hug. If you want a firmer seating, fill the bag full with beans and you'll be sitting more on top of the bean bag.